So, Lily Pichu is moving to YouTube, which has kind of surprised me. I didn't expect any big moves from YouTube after getting Saikuno. I thought they were going to lay low for a little bit on the streaming side and get their shorts and all the features surrounding shorts in a really good place. But after Ludwig, streamer and friends of streamers, Disguised Toast, did say that he knew of five other people moving over to YouTube. One of those, I presume, was Saikuno. The second one, I presume, is Lily Pichu, making me wonder, who are the other three? And there does kind of seem to be a pattern here of the kind of crowds that YouTube is targeting by signing these streamers on. But this really doesn't bode well for Twitch. Lily Pichu has been on Twitch for 10 years. And I always say it every time someone leaves Twitch, but what are you doing? I mean, you don't wanna keep these people on who have streamed on your platform and brought in millions of revenue for 10 years on your platform. I mean, does Twitch actually not care about these bigger creators? Or is there a level that YouTube can just put more money in there and Twitch can't keep up? I mean, we keep hearing about Twitch hemorrhaging money because of Twitch Primes and just streaming in general being very hard to make profitable. But 100% at this point, with the ad situation on Twitch right now, the lack of transparency from them and some of their biggest streamers moving over to YouTube, I wouldn't be surprised if the majority of streamers right now weren't thinking, huh, maybe I should move too. Though, and I've said this before, we are in a situation now where why would any big Twitch streamer move over to YouTube unless they were offered a massive deal? I'm presuming Ludwig, Saikuno, Lily Pichu all got paid a ton when they signed on with YouTube and had a lot of power to negotiate really good deals. However, there are some streamers like, say, Dr. Disrespect or Harris Heller who have moved over to the YouTube because either they had no choice or they thought it was a better long-term investment and they did it for free. I think most streamers now would rather be a Ludwig or Lily Pichu and get a nice paycheck than move over there because it's the smart thing to do. Because once they move over there without signing a deal with YouTube, it's going to be very hard for them to do it afterwards. They lose all their leverage. So I won't be surprised right now if every big Twitch streamer under the sun is going to stay streaming on Twitch until YouTube offers them money to move over. Anyway, who do you think the next three streamers moving over to YouTube are that Saikuno has prophesized? Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching.